Hi, students. We are back. And Daniel and I talk about the uh, tourist attraction and very interesting places in Zhanghua in our first lecture. Mm -hmm. And uh, in our next uh, lecture, we are going to talk about another beautiful county in Middle Taiwan called Nantou. And I think most of you probably visit Nantou before or for many times because Nantou is famous for its mountain views because that is the only landlocked county in Taiwan. So would you like to talk about the mountains in Nantou? Yeah, well, sure. Well, one of the first uh, things I think about when I hear the mountains in Nantou is I think about Qingjing. Yeah. And you know there's Qingjing uh, farm up there and you can go and see sheep. I heard it's a bit like the New Zealand of Taiwan. Yeah, the New Zealand of Taiwan. If you want yeah. to, if, because New Zealand is far away. Although Dan is from New Zealand, New Zealand is far away from Taiwan. So you can go there, enjoy the sheep show, and see how people raise sheep there. Mm. The um, accommodation there is quite interesting too, because there's a lot of bed and breakfast style places, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they look like Swiss uh, chalets. They've all got really <laughs> pointed roofs, yeah. or. <laughs> There's even some of them are Swiss chalets, and there's another one that looks a bit like a castle. It's called oh, like yeah, Old yeah, English yeah, yeah, Manor yeah, yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember once we went to Qingjing and we stayed there for one night, and then in the morning we woke up early to go up to see Hehuan Mountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is in Taichung, right? Mm. Hehuan Mountain is very popular as well because I think a lot of you probably visit there for for snow, because you know in Taiwan we are. Um, tropical country, uh, or semi-tropical country, it's really hard for us to see snow. But Hopa Mountain actually is one of the, I think every year they, you can see snow when winter comes. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people will go there to see snow. Okay, yeah. great. <laughs> And there's a few other good attractions in Nantou. I think the most famous one is uh, Sun Moon Lake, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I guess I've been to Sun Moon Lake quite a few times <coughs> now. And every year they've got a swim across Sun Moon Lake. So Have you ever joined that? <laughs> no, do you think I should try? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I think that'd be fun. But something I have done is uh, cycling around part of the oh. lake. Because uh, we will Last time I went there with my brother who was visiting Taiwan and we just rented bicycles to go around. Mm. But we're feeling a little bit uh, lazy so we, tr we rented the electric bicycle. So it was my first time using an electric bicycle to go around um, part of Sun Moon Lake. Um, and that was quite good because everyone else was going quite slowly but we had the electric bicycle so we could go quite <laughs> fast and uh, easily around the lake. Cool. Cool. Um, and we enjoyed the beautiful scenery and mm -hmm. also went to the the tourist center there is really nice too. Mm -hmm. And there was one more temple we went to as well. It was, there's a one god in Taiwan, it's Yue, Le, Yue Lao, who's famous for oh. uh, tying the red string between oh, two Yue people. Lao. Yue, Yue Lao. Lao. So I thought, oh, that was a quite an interesting temple. Oh, cool. um, I heard lots of people went there if they were Pray for looking their. for a boyfriend or girlfriend <laughs> or want to have a good yeah. relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, what else is there good in, around that area? Uh, in, around Summer Lake, there are a lot of things you can try. As Daniel said, you can do cycling. And you can also take the shuttle bus and then go off the bus to visit different places because uh, some of the lake is around shaping uh, routes and you can stop in different places and enjoy different views. And you can also take boats. Yeah, some mm -hmm. of the people will choose to take boats and they enjoy the view of the lake. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, one time I went there, I took the cable car as well, mm -hmm. and the cable car takes you to the Aboriginal oh. cultural mm -hmm. village, which is also like a big theme park. Yeah. And I, I heard before, actually, you mentioned that it's quite popular for um, students yeah. on graduation trips from yeah, high for school. Their um, yeah, they had a lot of rides there, that, a lot of like uh, yeah. small roller coaster yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. big slides, and it's like, like a big adventure park. Yeah. The cable car is the new thing, yeah. I remember when I was young, there is no cable car. You can just take the bus, go there to visit the uh, Aboriginal amusement park. Mm -hmm. And now they have cable car. I think it's also a good way because you can enjoy the view from the top of the mountain and enjoy the view of the lake when it goes down. 
Mm. Yeah, it's also very interesting. And as you mentioned, uh, Salmon Lake is fa also famous for Aboriginal things. So, uh, what things do you find there interesting related to Aboriginal tribes? Um, well, there was uh, local wine. I remember when I was going down the one of the main streets in the town and they had a lot of free samples to try <laughs> and there was a special kind of alcohol which I hadn't really tried before it's called yeah. like mijo yeah right? xiaomijo yeah xiaomijo <laughs> using a kind of a grain so the quite yeah. cloudy color yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so th that was an interesting product mm. that I tried another thing that I think someone likes famous for not necessarily Aboriginal product but it's the mushrooms mm -hmm. um, I went to visit the Mushroom Museum in Puli, Mushroom Factory, and there you can just go and take a basket around and pick all your own mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And they have lots of different varieties of mushrooms to choose from. Wow. So I'm a big mushroom fan, so <laughs> I, I was very happy to, um, to buy lots and take them home for cooking. Yeah, yeah. because you mentioned about the fac mushroom factory or mushroom farm, there is also a tea factory uh, really close to uh, some lake as well. It's very famous for making black tea. Oh, yeah. And yeah, because as we mentioned, Zhanghua and Nantou uh, are very famous for their tea culture, and also their agriculture, uh, their teas producing. So uh, probably next time if you go there and you can enjoy the tea and also go to the mushroom uh, farm to enjoy the uh, how to pick out the mushroom and also how to select mushroom, for example. Right. So I guess there's quite a few other places that we mm -hmm. haven't mentioned in Nantou, but a couple of other ones that I quite enjoyed were Hui Sun uh, Forest Park. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we went there for a picnic and we stayed there for one night because the next day we want to wake up early to go hiking. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's one of the great things you can do in Taiwan. But when we woke up in the morning to go hiking, it got very early, about 6 o'clock, 6.30, and it was just pouring down with rain. <laughs> and so because um, we had the young children with us, we had to cancel the hiking part. Oh, wow. But um, we did get to see some of the local wildlife, like the yeah. monkeys there. Um, I think those are really cool because we don't have monkeys in the wild in New Zealand. Oh. So sometimes when I'm traveling in Nanto, I can see monkeys and yeah that's pretty pretty good yeah because Nanto um, as we mentioned is landlocked and mm. also is less um, I feel it's a little bit more uh, close to nature if you went to Nanto you will see a lot of mountain a lot of places actually it's not developed and, but it's a good thing because you can enjoy the nature's there for example uh, Hui Shun Lin Ta you mentioned is actually famous for the cherry blossom yeah, so maybe oh, yeah. next time you can uh, go there in spring. Okay, yeah. oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks everyone for listening to this uh, lecture about Nanto. And we've got questions coming up soon. Yeah, you. Hi. Hi, everyone. So we've got two questions for you um, again. The first question I want to ask is about Sun Moon Lake. What kind of things can you do there? Oh, there are lots. <laughs> there are lots. So if you forget that, you can go back to watch our lecture again. Oh, it's a lot of things you can do. <laughs> and we mentioned uh, there are two factories around close to some lakes and you can visit when you go there. So what are they? Okay, that's our question. See you.